Your number one RC information source, rccaraction.com. I'm here at the Parma PSE booth. They've been making fine bodies and paints for over 30 years. Steve Kep is joining me. He's going to show you guys why you should not be afraid of painting your own Lexan body. Isn't that right, Steve? Yes, Chris. First step is usually to always trim your body. Today, with the uh, Lexan being 060 thick, it's very hard to trim with just a pair of scissors. So the easiest way is to score it with an X-Acto knife yeah. and then bend and break. First, find the trim line and then you need to carefully score the body where the trim line is using your X-Acto. Be very, very careful because X-Actos are very sharp. Once you do the whole body, it's very easy. I like to start with a pair of scissors just to get me up to where I've scored. And then simply break and peel. This is a whole lot easier now with, with uh, nowadays real thick bodies is to score and then just peel the bottom. So once you get started, it just follows the score line? Yes, there's, once you get started, and as long as you've done a good job of following the trim line, it, it really, there's no way uh, to mess it up. Tell us a little bit about the mask you're using. Sure, this is a Parma pre-cut vinyl mask with a paint design in it. We sell many, uh, up close to 50 designs now. I've already weeded the scrap away, so now what I have here is the good stuff, the stuff I actually want to use on the body. All right, now what are you going to do, Steve? Well, now I want to do the sides, and I'll show you how to connect. A lot of people don't understand how to connect one piece of mask to another piece of mask. Yeah, I, I, I find that confusing, too. Sure. So these masks, it's not really made to match up here to here. So what I do is I'll bring it, like, let's just say right there. You lay that down again, press in, make sure you press into all the nooks and crannies. And where a lot of people don't understand is they're like, well, now this just doesn't look like a drip. So again, with a piece of tape. Mask it off. Sure, we'll mask it off like so, and it still doesn't quite look right. Here's where you take your X-Acto knife and try to make a nice sweeping move so that it blends properly. Get rid of that part. And again, now it's, it blends in with the whole drip theme. Okay, now Steve has the entire body masked and it's ready to paint. He's going to give you a few tips on using an airbrush while he's painting. Sure, I'm using a fast color dual action airbrush. The main thing to keep in mind is get your paint going and flowing so everything's good. Use a good piece of scrap paper. For doing fading, I always start on a scrap area to where I get the flow of the paint going well and then move on to the actual mask itself. Then all you're doing is you're aiming the center of your spray, you're aiming it right to the edge of the mask. And just keep doing that with the whole design of the paint. And so you can fill in these spots that are like, there's just a little, it looks like overspray um, yes. with another color. Well, yeah, the main thing is whenever you paint, go from dark to light. So now if I'm going to do a dark blue or a purple, a little bit of that overspray will just be a very nice blend. And there'll, there'll be a nice gradation there. Yes. A nice, there'll be a nice gradation there. That's correct. There's a lot of really cool tricks to make you look like a professional painter with an airbrush. Just like Steve. Believe me, it's much easier than you think. Look at this body he created. And you know, 10 minutes, you can do it too. By the way, Parma is your one-stop shopping place for all your finishing needs. Check them out. Your number one RC information source, rccaraction.com.